very excited about this new show. I mean, first of all, the fact that the SABC um, or it's SABC three has you know bought the show and and you've gone ahead and you filmed it and they've, they they it started flighting. I think from now from April the the yeah from the first of April. Yes, absolutely. So it's, tell us about it. Yeah, well, um, it's called I Am Woman Leap of Faith and it's a twenty six part series on Sunday mornings at nine, rebroadcast at nine. On Monday, and I'm also really excited that I'll give our website details. Every single episode will be uploaded online in full. Mm-hmm. So it's very, it's the same vision as with Life Stories that this body of work will be there forever. Um, and essentially, what it does is each one is a 24 minute, I call it a mini documentary. Mm-hmm. Of course, it's 20, you know, it's, it's half an hour, but with the ads, yeah. <laughs> we get 24 okay. minutes of that. And each episode features a specific woman and one of them is on the line with us. I'm so excited about that, Tracy. Great. It started um, on Sunday, um, so Tracy's episode has aired already, but um, you'll be able to see it online within a week or so. And it looks at the turning points and the leaps of faith that women have taken in their lives. And by that, it's a very open sort of creative response. Essentially, it's when we get to a point in our life, either by choice or force of circumstance, we find ourselves somewhere where we need to step forward. Mm. We need to leap into something new, Mm. either because we want to and we want to create something and it's exciting and scary or because there's just no way back. Right. And so I was very touched by this idea and uh, we've gone out and found a whole bunch of women and each one is a different thematic treatment and a different woman from around South Africa. So but Lisa, but, but did something, I mean, did something trigger it? Did something yeah. happen in your life that you were forced um, to, to make some kind of choice, some kind of leap of faith, and you thought, wow, <laughs> I can only imagine that every person goes through something like this and, and people, these stories should be told. Yeah, I think we all take a thousand leap of faith every day, mm. um, women, men, everybody. Um, the background to this is that um, the SABC puts out what I call a book, um, supposed to be every year and and I don't know if they did one this year but essentially they put out word that they're looking for certain types of programs um, and I read the document and they were looking for something which explored women and spirituality and humanity mm. and then I came up with the idea of leap of faith speaking to that so I treated it and then we pitched it and then we you know, we are, I suppose you would say, won the pitch, but it took three years to get to air. Gee so it's was. been a long process. And filming the uh, the 24 stories, I, I'm a big upon the 26 stories. How long did that take? Well, um, mini the docky. fun part is, yeah. um, you know how it is when you pitch for something and you wait and you wait. So <laughs> we kind of all got on with other stuff. I was doing live stories work and my partner's the amazing woman at Plexus Films who I approached to partner with us. Um, you know, they are the amazing actual filmmakers. I'm the journalist. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, we pitched, and then the SABC came back, back to us finally to sign contracts towards the end of last year, around about November, and said, we want you on air in March with 26 years. She was. So, I mean, I know that a lot of people who've been dealing in this thing, you know, you want it so much, then you get it, and then, you know, you need to make it happen. So what we've done is we are filming and researching at the same time. Okay. Um, so we've filmed and packaged about 10. Um, And so I'm still researching. And as we're filming, I'm researching and we'll be filming more all the way through until June. Mm. But effectively, the program started last week. Fantastic. Well, listen, I'm I'm rather delighted because, as you've said, I mean, we have Tracy Derrick on the line. And and Tracy has appeared. She appeared in the first one. So, Tracy, good morning. Thanks for holding on for us. And welcome to the show. Thank you. Good morning. Um, so Tracy, can you tell us? I mean, how, how who approached you to be to be on the show? And maybe you can just give us an outline of of what the first show was all about. Um, well, you know, it's strange how always how energy happens. Mm. Lisa, Lisa had known of my work, and then came to visit someone on my farm, and we met each other and spent hours looking at my work and talking, and she just then said, well, there's this program, you know, would you be honest about your leap of faith? How how did you find out and how far were you when you found out that you had breast cancer? Well, I... Yeah, I had had the lump for a while. Mm. Um, I think it's a very common thing that we try and ignore. Yeah. 
ignore it when we're ill. We don't want to deal with it. So when I finally did deal with it, I kind of knew it would be cancer. Um, and as a documentary photographer, I have always photographed other cultures, mm. other people. Mm. And that's where my security and my base come from being behind the camera. And the more research I did about the cancer, the more I realized, hey, I have now been put into a culture, an outside culture. And so then my natural reaction was to make myself a subject and photograph myself. And that was, it was difficult at the beginning. Mm. So I think my leap of faith was putting myself in front of the camera, exposing myself completely. And then with the other leap was taking chemotherapy. I don't take medicinal drugs of any kind. Mm. Um, and I was very scared of that, indeed, because I didn't know how the chemotherapy would react to my body. So, so, yeah. so, so Tracy, I mean, I, and I can I so understand that because, you know, people talk about so many ways of, of trying to, to heal oneself. So what, for you to be in that position where you don't always just go with, you know, normal medication and you try to look for, you know, alternate remedies or whatever it is that you do, what made you make the decision to go for chemo? What was the turning point for you? Yeah, I, well, I think in the end I have two young children, uh -huh. two young girls age nine, well, they were there, well, they were then like six and three. Um, and I think because of them, mm. ultimately. Mm. And because of myself, I guess it's a mixture. Um, and I just, I just decided, cut it out, burn it out, get rid of it, get over it, survive, you know. And and you have you've you photographed everything. It's all there, yeah. Tracy. And that for you must have been quite a healing process. Was it a healing process yes. for you? It was the most incredibly healing process. And when I had I had a huge exhibition, I was back at university at the time as well at mm. Michaela. Um, I had a little Michaela show, and then I had a big exhibition at the Association for Visual Art. And when I took that work off the wall, it was like I had closed that chapter in my life. Hmm. But it's also part of putting the pictures out there on the wall, put the illness out, away from me, so I could look at it. Um, using photography or art as healing is incredibly powerful, I think. Hmm. Wow. Not only for yourself, but for people who are looking at that, uh, at your yes. pictures and your images. Yes. So, so when Lisa approached you and she said, you know, I've got this, this wonderful series and, um, you know, it's the I Am The Woman series and, and she said, I'd like you to be a part of it, um, what was your initial reaction? Did you think this is far too personal for me to share? Or had you already crossed that line? You'd, as you, you spoke about that leap of faith, you had taken that leap of faith in, in photographing. How was that for you? Yeah, I think, I think because I had taken that I had produced a little catalogue about the show. I had had amazing responses from people who have had cancer, going through cancer. That Lisa's show made me realize this work needs to try and reach more people. Mm. You know, to help heal and give people hope about cancer and survival. Absolutely. And Lisa, for you, I mean, is it going, you know, you went to, to Tracy, to her home, into her environment. Are you trying to make it as the story as personal as possible? Is is that what you want to do? You want people to go on this journey with you and with that that phenomenal woman in, in each episode? Yeah. You know, this is a journey of humanity. It happens to be a, sto a series that looks at women. Mm. Um, what I'm drawn to is the journey of life, you know, that really, really stirs me. And so whatever that takes. And because the stories are personal stories, we would go to Tracy's home and all of the other women and we'd film them. We also film significant people in their lives. We film them in their work. We film them in their lives. There's a bit of voiceover work from me. And as you know, as you know, with TV, you... You, you're filming a main interview, but there are a lot of cutaways and there's a lot of layering of photographs and other experiences. So Tracy's voice will almost narrate. It's almost like she's just telling her story mm, to everybody. Mm. Um, and then there's the two of us just chatting a little bit as well. 
it's a very con- I want people to connect with it, and I think they did um, with Tracy's one. And so it's personal, but it, the, the last thing I would ever want, and I think we've really got the mix right, is this feeling of we now dropping into someone's life to yep. sort of explore and sort of fish out things. It's a, I see it as a, and I hope Tracy felt the same way. Well, I think she did. It's a, it's a co-produced decision that we want to share a story. And we take our lead a lot, obviously, from what's comfortable for the woman themselves. 101.9 megahertz of power. Well, welcome back. Um, thanks for staying with us. I have on the, le- the line Lisa Chayat, um, who's been a radio talk show host for many years. She's the founder of the Life Stories Project and is now um, the co-producer and presenter of a brand new show. And it's called, um, I. it's not I Am Woman, it's I Am Woman Leap of Faith. Yeah. Am I right, Lisa? Yeah. A super. And we have um, Tracy Derrick on the line. Tracy is a, a well-known photographer. Um, Tracy was diagnosed with breast cancer and... Uh, uh, she she took two leaps of faith. The first was turning the camera around on herself um, and uh, really exposing herself and recording this journey of 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 the healing of going through chemotherapy because that was her second leap of faith was the decision to actually go for chemotherapy. So you've turned it into this series, Lisa, and every week you're going to be following the story of of a woman who has taken that leap of faith that made that choice where she's had to at one point in her life, make a particular decision. And this is on every Sunday, you say. At what time, Lisa? Yeah, it's on at 9 a.m. and mm-hmm. then in the morning at 9 a.m. And then it's rebroadcast on Mondays at uh, 9 a.m. And then all of the episodes will also be online on... Uh, I am woman. It's singular. I am woman. Series dot com. Mm, I'm on the website now. Wonderful. Yeah. So, so Tracy, what were your thoughts? I mean, you 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 had Lisa come in. You know, there was a crew. They came in. You you spoke about you your experiences when you watched the program. How how was that for you? Sure, it was amazing. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I really want to say that Lisa and and the the filmmaker Lauren Cronovo. They were so sensitive in how they came into my space. Well, they didn't come in. They were like with me and my space, my children, my animals. Um, They did that very beautifully. And especially because something like breast cancer is so personal. Mm. I mean, I was laughing because there were so many of my own little mannerisms that were there that were on the phone. Mm -hmm. It was me. It wasn't them coming in and directing. Right. So very beautifully done indeed. Oh, I wonder. I have had incredible responses. Wonderful, Tracy. Yeah. And Lisa, you say, I mean, for people who are listening now and didn't get to see it and, and want to to hear Tracy's story and to, to watch this particular episode, you say they can go to the website? Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm, I'm, so, I'm really delighted about that because it had to do, the SABC is now putting full programs online, which is a huge jump, you know. Mm. It's almost like, you know, you being able to stream and people listening to you, Nikki, now all over the world. Mm. We're able to put it there. So the we- they will be on the website within two weeks and then within a week after each episode so there's always that backup um, and they're 24 minutes so you know go make a cup of tea and it'll stream down and the website is I am woman singular I am woman series dot com dot com and I really encourage you it's a story about Tracy's journey it's a story about breast cancer it's very inspiring and she just comes across just beautifully and I'm so glad that you mentioned Lauren's name Lauren Grunewald the director um, and Tim Vigi the camera person yes yeah. Um, they just did a magnificent job. I mean, Lauren has just really done so well. And Tanya Hagen, the editor, these are superbly talented people. I'm very lucky to work with them. Lisa, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks to both of you. Tracy, thanks for coming onto the show and for telling your story for the world to witness and for the world to hear. And I'm sure that, you know, it, you, you've not only inspired so many women um, here in South Africa and now around the world. Now, if people um, can go to the website and watch it, but also given this great sense of hope and a, a story shared is just so very powerful. Wonderful. Thank you. And and Lisa, what, what I'm, I'm, as I said, I'm looking so forward to watching the episodes. It's so great chatting. I love the work that you do. So thanks for your time.